So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 12 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a three door car. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge in the middle at the bottom. And above that, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles of this car. They are 60,246. You can change information displayed there for various bits of trip computer and driving data by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk back around to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls here on the left-hand side. The main stereo is over in the center. This is where you can access your CD player. It's also where you can access the radio, auxiliary input, and this car's got USB input as well. So I say CD player is just there. Um, the main screen for the radio is above it. So every push of the radio button will take you around a different wave band. If we push the auxiliary button, you'll see that you get auxiliary come up there and obviously CD would operate the CD. If there was an auxiliary, oh sorry, USB plugged in, this button would also operate the USB. Uh, working our way down, we have deadlock, so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. We then have the air conditioning. You can adjust the fan speed, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, and the temperature, of course. The air conditioning is on at the moment, so that's off. Back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set just there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.